Hello everyone, Rand here, and this is going to be the start of a new series here, kind of the introductory video to this uh, series here. Uh, the idea behind this series is we're going to be building a couple of computers and ultimately we'll be uh, giving away these uh, computers. As uh, Obviously, I've already got a computer and I'm all set. But uh, one of the things I most commonly hear between the uh, PC and the console is the fact, well, I can afford a console, I can't afford a PC. So I thought we'd address that hopefully in this video. And uh, maybe see if we can uh, just uh, show that, yes, you can actually get a decent enough PC for the price of a console. Now, again, obviously, PCs, higher-end PCs can go way, way more expensive than any console will. will. But uh, with that being said as well, you can also get a PC for the same price as a console. So uh, turn your attention to the highly technical spreadsheet here. We have... Two systems already purchased and made here already. We've got System 1 and System 2. System 1 is a $300 uh, PC, so kind of going you a little bit uh, yeah, cheaper end of the uh, console side there. And then System 2 is $500. Again, you know, going a little bit higher up there. Uh, system 2 here, at least in my opinion, is definitely probably the system to aim for. So just uh, going through it here, both these systems are AMD. Uh, CPU and RAM was included in the motherboard here with System 1. So most of the components in this system are used. Uh, GPU was brand new, at least at the time of building this. It's pretty hard to get your hands on any good, decent GPUs, at least for a good price anyway. Uh, graphics cards are ridiculously expensive and somewhat hard to find. Uh, hard drive here, obviously being a lower end hard, our system here, it's going to be a spinning platter. We're not going to be going with any SSD here in this system. So $25 gets you a nice cheap hard drive there. It's going to be a little bit slower, but uh, overall it's not really going to affect the system performance that much. It's just going to take longer to load. Uh, power supply here, uh, case, and then of course Windows. Unfortunately, not much you can do about Windows. So you need an operating system. Unless you like plan on going with Linux or bootlegging, which I would not advise at all. All right. Windows, you're pretty much stuck with it, $80. So $80 right off the top of your hardware right there. So it gets you $300. So like I said, this system's already been uh, chosen. Uh, what we're going to do here in a few minutes is we're just going to go take a quick visit to eBay, see what's what we can do for System 3 here. We're just going to aim for like another $300 system and uh, see what's what we get for our components. So System 2 here, stepping it up to $500, actually almost $520. $519 here. Motherboard for $64. CPU is $95. RAM was $75. RAM's another thing that's expensive at the moment, by the way, is RAM. So GPU was $70. Uh, we got a solid state hard drive for this one, which was also $70. Uh, PSU for $35. Uh, this PSU is actually a little bigger than the one for System 1 here. Just uh, found a good deal on that one. Case for $30. Again, a little bit more expensive case. And then Windows, again, $80. So anyway, let's just uh, make a visit to eBay here. And again, if you're going to buy a computer or get a lower-end computer and you're looking for fairly cheap, AMD is the way to go. Now, if you're looking for a computer for performance, AMD is probably not the way to go. But we're just going to look for an AMD FX system. That's basically AMD's last generation of systems there. And at least have some, you know, fairly decent systems. Again, like I said, performance slightly lacking. But, oh, let's maybe try AMD FX motherboard. We're looking at a lot of uh, processors there. Let's see what we got for uh, AMD motherboard. And, you know, if we can, again, if we can get something with a... Oh, there we go. Here we go. So, yes, we're looking at our, kind of our first system right here. Now, this has 21 hours to go. It is used. Again, the systems I have are used as well. $60. Chances are it's probably going to go up another, oh, yeah, it's probably going to go up at least another 30, I would guess, if not a little bit more. So, let's just uh, maybe go to our spreadsheet here. This is actually really good. AMD 3 Plus. Uh, it's got an AMD FX 100 quad core at 3.6 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM. Really nice on the RAM. So let's just uh, plug that into our spreadsheet. You know, let's just say $90 for that. So that covers CPU and RAM. So right off the top there, we got that all covered. And nice thing about this too, if you're not, you know, particularly familiar with, well, does this 
CPU work on this motherboard and this RAM work with this motherboard, you got it all in one here. So assuming the seller is selling it, it the assumption being here is it, it most likely goes together. Maybe not the greatest assumption, but uh, you can probably assume that. Uh, we got some other options here. You know, we got, uh, that's looks like a pretty decent one. No RAM with that one. Uh, if you can get a system with RAM in it, you're probably, so yeah, here we go. Here's another system right here, 16 gigs of RAM. Looks like this has a little bit better motherboard and uh, CPU on it. Uh, is that? I guess that is the cooler there. Interesting design. I'm assuming that's what that is. So again, you got, uh, yeah, 16 gigs of RAM. So that's definitely a good amount. I probably would try to aim for a minimum of 4 gigs of RAM. I would not go any lower than that. You know, preferably 8. Uh, 16 is definitely, again, for a lower-end system like this, 16 is plenty. Just take a quick look, see if we have anything else of uh, good value here. So, yeah, that's there we go. That's a pretty good one there. You know, if you can get it for $50, it's got 4 gigs of RAM on it. You can see if you get another... Uh, you know, four gigs of RAM to throw in that motherboard. Definitely be a nice one. Oh, here's here's like a perfect one, if you ask me. Eight gigs of RAM. Uh, FX6300. It doesn't say how big that CPU is, so I'm not sure. But yeah, let's uh, let's go look at graphics cards here. And this, of course, like I said, at the moment is kind of the, the hard thing to find. So, and you're probably actually better off if you can uh, throw some actual numbers in it. So we got like a GT730 here, 4 gigs for 60 bucks. That'll actually uh, actually probably do quite nicely. Uh, Radon HD7670 with 4 gigs. That is also quite nice. A 560. You know, again, if we can find something used, but like I said, it, the graphics card market at this point is just absolutely non-existent it is it's bad and of course if we uh, actually put in some actual numbers or some actual graphics cards we might get some better results but let's say if we go look for like a gtx oh say a 1030 they're gonna run us probably right around 100 bucks here you got some uh chinesium grade ones uh i'd be a little Leery of, I'd probably stay away from those. Oh wow, are we seriously not going to find any GTX 106 or 1030s? Wow. Okay then. Like I said, graphics card market uh, not so good. I think we can go back. Uh, like that 730 we're looking at looked like that was pretty good. I think we could probably go with one of those. Again, you know, taking your time to search a little more, you'll probably find something better. Maybe 734 gigs. That's a pretty good deal. Let's throw 60 bucks on that. We're already at 230 there. That kind of leaves us with what? If we're going to aim for 300, leaves us $70 for hard drive, power supply, and case. So let's uh, throw in maybe a one terabyte hard drive here. See what we get for one terabyte. So there we go. We got a Seagate. Is that one terabyte? Yeah, Seagate one for 30 bucks. Let's uh we'll do that. Should be yeah, 7200 RPM. I'd probably make sure it's 7200 RPM so it's at least a little bit faster. Stay away from the 5400 RPM. That's just my advice. So that was 30 bucks for our drive. Leaves us uh $40 left for PSU in case. So it's going to be a little bit close here, but we might go a little over 300. Let's see what's what we get for a power supply. So probably 500 watt power supply should be good for this. And if you're not sure what uh, power supply to get, they do have power supply calculators for figuring this all out. So go that route and you shouldn't have any trouble finding one. Now, when it comes to power supplies on eBay, I've noticed there's a lot of like really cheap brands. Again, it's up to you if you want to go with these or not, or try to find maybe an actual reputable branded power supply. There's a thermal take. I think those are usually a decent enough brand for 30 bucks. Yeah, let's uh, throw that one in. That's 500 watts. Just for the fun, let's uh, step it up to 600. Because uh, 600 watt power supplies, actually, I found some pretty good deals on them last time. Yeah, $4. Yeah, that's that's definitely going to go up uh, by the time that bidding's done. So here we got an EVJ 80 Plus. That is actually a really good deal there. That's actually, a, again, reputable branded power supply. 40 bucks. 
Yeah, it's a little bit expensive. Maybe, oh, here we go. Uh, doesn't say what brand, though. Again, doesn't say what brand that one is. A uh, brand I'm not familiar with. For the sake of this, let's just uh, throw the EVGA one in there, which was what? Uh, we'll just say it's $40 there. So again, that is going to put us a little over the 300 with a case here, but not much. Next, we're going to need a computer case. And here, it's pretty much up to you what you want to get. Again, if you're going somewhat cheap, the case is not going to affect your performance. Just make sure your case will hold the components you're going to get. So here we got a Roswell. This, I believe, is actually the case I got for my System 2 yet. This one is currently 27. So yeah, nice uh, nice case there. It's a little bit smaller. Uh, it's actually a really small case. So just something to uh, keep in mind there. Shouldn't have any trouble holding the components we got, though. That should not actually be a problem at all. So we can say that's, what, 27. So we'll just uh, plug in 27 here. And miscellaneous, we don't think we need anything for miscellaneous. We got cooling. Uh, K should come whatever we need. You know, if, hard to think here what you would potentially need for the system. You know, maybe if it needs a fan or something. Again, the particular case here. Just happen to know because I've got one. Comes with everything you pretty much need on it. And uh, here again, you could probably get yourself uh, some cheaper cases too if you look around. You know, there's one for 25. I believe one at the top here. That was 35 for that one. Scrolling down here, we got one for 20. Again, no uh, clear panel, so yeah, saves yourself basically, you know, seven bucks there. You know, again, if you want to go cheaper, you can definitely uh, start looking around, take a few dollars off here and there. So anyway, on that note, folks, I think we're going to wrap it up for this uh, video here. Like I said, this is just kind of the introductory video to this uh, series here. And over the next couple of videos, we're going to be building out these systems here. Uh, systems 1 and 2. System 3 here was just uh, for demonstration purposes for this uh, video here. Didn't want to take any chance on the uh, components I was looking at there. You know, not being able to get those. So that's why I went ahead and uh, got those right away. And these are not right down to the cents here, but roughly what we uh, paid for these components. So again, System 1 here is a $300 system. And system two is a $520 system. Again, unfortunately, Windows, $80 right off the top there. Again, nothing you can really do about that. So anyway, on that note, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.